When it comes to games being ported to the Nintendo Switch from PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3 even, or PC, they generally don't run too well or run with some drawbacks in comparison to other releases, such as a lower frame rate or lower graphical fidelity and the like, due to the hardware of the Nintendo Switch being outdated. With Crystar being ported to the Nintendo Switch, Furyu has shown us how possible it is to port a game to the Nintendo Switch without making any compromises, and it's pretty impressive, especially with having such an interesting and original JRPG such as this on the go. The story of Crystar centers around a young girl named Rei Hatada, who is searching for her sister Morai's soul after both Rei and Morai are both sent to purgatory by the Revenant Princess. When souls enter purgatory, they end up endlessly wandering until they reach what's called the Cogs of Renewal, which ends up reincarnating them without their memories intact. Souls unable to let go of who they are and relinquish their individuality then become monsters known as Revenants, seeking to be revived. Two demons known as the Managers of Purgatory decide to make a deal with Rey to collect crystallized tears known as an idea. Accepting this deal, Rey is given access to a guardian and given powers to fight back against Revenants by the two demon managers of purgatory. Rey marches onwards with her band of friends to defeat the Revenant Princess and be able to give her sister Mirai a second chance at life. If you're a manga reader or a fan of anime, then you'll quickly see all the tropes and be able to pick up on where the plot predictably goes. Honestly, it's refreshing that the story doesn't center around saving the world and is focused on the relationship of sisters and the bond they share. When it comes to the gameplay, it starts off fairly simple, yet opens itself to some serious complexities and depth. As the game progresses, you have access to light and heavy attacks that you can string into combos which may seem simple at first, but it definitely evolves into a fairly deep combat system. When you build up your tear gauge, you're able to use a special ability to cry, which will summon your guardian. Guardians are able to come in and do massive amounts of damage. So definitely look into incorporating that into your combos. Character swapping is on a fly between each character, with them having very different playstyles from one another. Each of the girls has their own health gauges, which refills when they're not active. So swap them out if one gets too dangerously low in health. Dungeon exploration lends itself to seeing a lot of graphical issues, such as not everything in the environment rendering on top of other issues like texture pop it which is odd 2022 that we're still having those kind of issues these issues occur due to the optimization method of getting this to run on the switch and thus the method aids in reducing the stress of the load on the system by rendering things bit by bit instead of all at once. Graphically, the game is serviceable with a unique art style that allows the characters to pop a vibrancy even when the character models aren't the most detailed. All in all, Crystar is a game that offers a fairly emotional plot that's engaging. That's truthfully a bit predictable, but that's something that plays strongly to this game's story. The gameplay is fairly easy, but it does get substantially deeper as the game progresses, and while the graphics are not the greatest and look a bit dated, it still has a unique flair to it that makes it stand out. If you've got a Nintendo Switch, or even a PlayStation 4 or Steam, then Crystar is a game that you should definitely be picking up. Mahalo for making it to the end of the video, and if you found anything of importance or substance that you gained from watching this, make sure you leave a comment down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you sub to the channel and ding the notification bell. That way you stay up to date on all the content that you get from my channel, from podcasts, streams, reviews, impressions, reactions, and so much more. If you want to support what we do, we do have channel memberships, we've got Patreon, we've got Subscribestar, as well as as coffee which i would love to be drinking some coffee right now which i am mm, that's some good coffee but anyway we got all of that and we also have merch on teespring and tea public so make sure you go check that out and all that being said i just hope to see you in the next video that i put out so hey see you around